don't finance your food bills. <laughs> and, and believe that, that's coming and it's, and it's here. Walmart is doing that right now. I just read about that. Four easy payments when you go to the checkout. So when you check out at Walmart, be careful. Today we're at Aldi's here. You know, I was reading an article. It was by uh, consumer experts, whoever they are. Anyways, it said Aldi was recently crowned the cheapest supermarket of the year by consumer experts for 2023. So we're going to go in here. We're going to find out. It's it's fast becoming my favorite store. I really like shopping at Aldi. A lot of good bargains. You, you also have to watch what you, what you buy here. Sometimes the uh, food uh, the produce isn't refrigerated, so you got to be careful of that. In the meats, you're never going to get away from the high price of beef or even some of the uh, the chicken here. You just can't or bacon. You can't get away from that. I don't care where you go. It's going to be expensive. And if it's expensive at Aldi, you know Publix and everywhere else is going to be expensive. Even Costco's. Uh, getting to be expensive so uh, i'm going to go in here and i'm going to compare an aldi brand of cereal and the branded name of cereal and and just show you the difference of them i mean because there is a difference and millville is a pretty good brand so we're going to go in here we're going to check prices grab some stuff let's have some fun let's go shopping <laughs> don't we want to hit and subscribe or oh, give yeah. a thumbs up on hit and subscribe there you go thanks hon I tell you what, this is a Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> Just got off work, and it's packed. I, I mean, it took a while for me to walk across the uh, the parking lot here, but there's Aldi's right there. We're gonna grab a cart here. We're gonna we're gonna put our quarter in here, and uh, but this is a brand new Aldi, and uh, we're gonna grab our cart. It says return cart to get quarterback. I like that stuff. So let's head in there. <laughs> there's our quarter. It's jammed right in there. So uh, it says welcome to Aldi here. We're gonna head in this place. And we're gonna check out the prices. All right, now you can see the produce once you walk in here right away. Avocados are 59 cents each. That's not too bad. Look at this pineapples, a buck 69 for the pineapples. Holy smolies! And here's the avocados. I know I'm touching them. Uh, they look nice. Look at it, it says the word ripe on it. <laughs> and 3.49 for Cara Cara oranges. Holy cow! Car, car, orange is three dollars and and forty nine cents. I kind of like it. Sweet and seedless, and um, that's not a bad price. I mean, I'm already seeing good prices right here. And here's look at this right next to the. Uh, <laughs> once you walk in, you see the produce and you see the pizzas right here. Five cheese pizza, six dollars and fifteen cents. That's a monster pizza too. Sixteen inch, seven nineteen for the pepperoni. Supreme is $7.99, $7.49. It's called Mega Meat. Doesn't look like Mega to me, but uh, <laughs> anyways, the grapes, $1.69. I saw these in their special. They actually look pretty good. And <laughs> too bad they're, they're they need to put some more out. $4.19 for blueberries here. Wish Farms. That's a that's a common brand here. And um, let me see the boxes in the way. The red grapes are $2.39. Oh, these look really good. These grapes here, five ninety nine, and here's some raspberries for two two sixty nine right here. Cilantro right here. I like how they have this packaged. Ninety five cents. This is all refrigerated here. Look at the broccoli. It's a dollar fifty nine a pound. It looks really good, and um, it does look nice. And you don't get the long stems. You notice that? This is two dollars and twenty-seven cents. You don't get the long stems; they're just the the tips. Three sixty-nine for strawberries. I guess they're no bargain anywhere. Mushrooms, a buck ninety-nine for the baby bellas. How are you going to beat that? Look at this: eight ounces for a buck, a buck ninety-nine, and a dollar seventy-nine just for the white mushrooms. That's really good right there. These actually look pretty good. Product of USA. Finally, something from USA. $1.79. What else do they have? These are always this price, but the organic ones, these are $2 at uh, at Costco. $0.95 cents here. Garden salads are $1.79. I don't think... That's uh, 12 ounces, 8 ounces at, uh, at Walmart. Look at this romaine hearts. You get two of them, $2.69. They look a little brown here, but you know, you just have to. These don't look bad at all. Two sixty nine, you get three of them. Boston lettuce is always expensive. Two, two twenty nine. 
baby spinach baby spinach how much is it I don't see the price dollar 29 for the flat leaf spinach and you get a you get a big bag of it you get a big bag of this a dollar a dollar 29 for that whole carrots are a dollar 39 you know you get two pounds you get two pounds of carrots you get a pound at, at Walmart for a dollar Publix would probably be double <laughs> These blueberries aren't that cheap. Or, oh, they're organic. That's why. You put put the word organic and you charge $3.69 on them. And here's your GMO corn, $3.29. Holy cow. Corn's always expensive. I don't get it. I, I don't understand that at all. I came in for some potatoes. And here's sweet potatoes, $2.59 for a bag of these. I think that's pretty good. And here, oh, these are $4.49. These went up a dollar. These russet potatoes were $4.49 and um, last time, and I want to get a bag of them. They they went up a dollar. They they went they went up a dollar, Sam. These are russet potatoes right there. They went up. They were $3.49 and they went up. So I'm gonna get me a bag of these guys. Very nice. Those are some nice potatoes. <laughs> I have to admire them. Naval oranges $4.49 for this bag. Look at all the oranges in here. 449 that's not too bad Kings River and um, 52 cents for the bananas but the oranges look good and these potatoes there's they're still a dollar fifty cheaper than they are at Costco or even at uh, Sam's Club or anywhere uh, for that fact then here's the lettuce is a dollar sixty nine it's not refrigerated in here they even have a scale here let's put one on the scale oh it's a little over a pound oh, it's a little over a pound a buck sixty-nine, and the salary is. Look at this, a dollar thirty-nine. I thought I saw it for ninety-five cents before, but you know, I've noticed it going up. This is a good stock right here. You have to look for it, and you can find it. This is a big package right here. This is a this is a big package for a buck thirty-nine. And here's some of these green skin avocados. They're a dollar eighty-nine. I don't know why they're so expensive. I have no idea. And of course your zucchini is a buck forty-five, and it always looks good here. Oh, it's, this is really cold. This looks fresh here. Product of the United States. I like to see that. Cabbage is eighty-five cents, and and it does look pretty good. Oh well, that's just. I don't think that's anything to worry about right there. The the purple on there, but that's not bad. You just take that off. Butter butternut squash a buck twenty-five, and some of this right here. This is a spaghetti squash, a buck twenty-five. It all looks really good. Everything here looks really good. Here's some of their onions. You get yellow onions, and you get what? How many pounds of this? Look how many you get in this bag. Two dollars and fifteen cents. I don't see how many pounds. It's two or three pounds. Two dollars and fifteen cents. Three pounds. That's a three-pound bag. And the then the red onions, same thing. I think it's a two-pound bag. That's a two-pound bag. Two thirty-nine. Sweet onions, two thirty-nine. You get four of them. And white onions, the same thing, two thirty-nine. You get two pounds. And here's some of these potatoes, bite-sized medleys. These are always pricey. Three, three twenty-nine. Organic yellow potatoes, three seventy-nine. Well, that you're paying for the name on that stuff. Red potatoes, five pounds, three ninety-nine. Large bacon potatoes, five pounds, four nineteen. But I got 10 pounds for uh, what was it? 4.49. Really good deal. But I think the onions right here, 2.15, three pounds. That's not bad at all. Let's look at some of the baked goods. And here's a pecan pie. Oh, I love pecan pies. And of course, you got to have vanilla ice cream on it. 5.69. I bought these last time I was here, and they were really good. <laughs> 3.85 for these blueberry muffins here. They weren't bad at all. 3.85. 385 for those banana banana nut. I tell you, Bob Evans makes a good banana nut pie, but <laughs> 385 right there. But at Bob Evans, it's 10 or 15 dollars now. Whatever this is, triple chocolate cream. I don't know. Dutch apple pie. Holy cow. 395. Try getting that at Publix. <laughs> 24 ounces. What else do they have? These are always expensive croissants, and there's nothing to them but 329. Oh my gosh, I love those things. Super expensive at Publix. Raisin nut bread, two and a quarter. When was the last time you saw something for raisin nut bread for two and a quarter? This is a one pound loaf. 
one pound loaf for two dollars and twenty five cents. Look at the look at the English muffins a dollar thirty nine. Where are you gonna find that? Where are you gonna find English muffins for a buck thirty nine? I know where Aldi. <laughs> what else do they have? Look at all the breads here. Sourdough bread three fifty nine. This is a twenty this is a twenty four ounce loaf of sourdough bread three fifty nine. Unbelievable prices here. I don't know how the bread tastes though. Specialty Italian bread. I want to get a loaf of some of their split top wheat here. A dollar twenty-five. I tell you. There you go. That's what I got so far. A lot of people say you don't put anything in your cart. I actually I do. I just don't buy a lot. Twelve grain bread, two thirty-nine. This is a big loaf. Two thirty-nine. It's a monster loaf. And it looks like Pepperidge Farm. And two thirty-nine for the whole wheat right here, whole grain. Two thirty-nine for that. That's a deal right there. And you see your other breads right here, a dollar twenty-nine for your hamburger buns, hot dog buns, a dollar twenty-nine. Brioche, three ninety-nine. They're always expensive. And I always like the sesame seed. These are as light as a feather, three ninety-nine. But the brioche is expensive. Now, I came in here the other day looking for pretzels, and I was going to get either these mini pretzels here. There's pub style, which are zesty. I don't want zesty. Then I looked at these, mini twister, the sticks of buck 89. I ended up going with these Clancy's here, and um, I finished them at work today. And these are the bomb right here. Eight ounces, $1.89. These are really good. Really good, really fresh, uh, crispy. And um, I said, I don't want those. I went with those, and I'm glad I did. And these are $5.49. I think it's a little pricey, but the pretzel rods, holy cow, they're really pricey. See, there's some things you, you can shop and buy at a bargain and some things that you can't, and that's one of them right there. Let's check out the potato chips here. Wavy potato chips, $2.19, and they're Clancy's brand. And they're 10 ounces, and they're $2.19. You'd pay double for Lay's. Of course, you're paying for the name. And here's some uh, cheese curls. 219 and you know how much the uh, the the name brand would be double that. I don't know how those taste but they they look awful cheesy. I know I know it's fake cheese but sour cream and onion potato chips original. They're all they're all 219 and they they have a ton of them here. Ton of the pretzels here. Different items here. Um the Millville right here oatmeal $1.75 for a variety pack look at that right there a variety pack you get you get 10 packets in there a buck 75 here's some old-fashioned oats right here and let me see it's two pounds 10 ounces 395 now here raisin brand millville two dollars and 19 cents right here and how many ounces is this bursting with raisins 16.6 ounces right here there you go. And where's a raisin brand? Because I want to compare that. Here's a brand flakes, Millville. 18, 18 ounces of Millville, 269. And Millville is a pretty good brand. Crunchy raisin brand, granola. Cocoa Puffs. And here's the marshmallow stars. Magically delicious like Lucky Charms, $1.95. Right there. $1.95 for the guy. And um, see? some of this stuff is that all the cereal they have i see this is all i see right now the other place had a lot of it so i don't know where it all went where's all where's the rest of it <laughs> i gotta find it so hang on okay i found that it. it's hiding over here i don't know why they would do that so here's cornflakes now now this is the millville cornflakes and it's a pretty big box see that big box they would call that a mega box at the at walmart and it's 18 ounces and it's two dollars and 19 cents and here's some crispy millville oats which are the same as cheerios 12 ounces dollar 65 and the crispy oats here 265 these are the honey roasted oats um honey nut crispy oats where's the cheerios here's a good example right here large size of cheerios 472 and you get the millville same stuff, 265. 472, 265. There's your comparison right there. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Of course I'm gonna buy this. No wonder they're the grocer of the year. 265, 
472. That's quite a difference right there. That's a big difference to me. I mean, because we all work hard for our money, and I'm certainly not going to give it to those people at General Mills. I'd rather give it to the Millville. Actually, I'd rather put the difference in my pocket. And here's some of the shredded oats. 209. 209. Cinnamon Crunch Squares, 279. And here's the, the name brand. 441. 441 for that. And 279 for that. I'm, I'm not going to buy that. And here's your fruit rounds, $1.68. <laughs> it's like the toucan. And where's the real toucan? I don't see the toucan here, but we know the price, how much they are. And here's Fruity Pebbles, $4.09. It's 15 ounces of the Fruity Pebbles. Where's the comparison? Honey Nut Wheats, $2.09. You get the idea. Everything is just cheaper here. I mean, unless you want to buy the name brand, you're going to pay the money. If you want to go with the off brand, you're not going to pay the money, buck sixty-eight. And we'll look at some of the meats. They have the fish here. You're always going to pay a lot for fish. Ten ninety-nine a pound for salmon. This is seventeen dollars. Product of Chile. That's eight ninety-nine a pound. Something like this. There's ten ninety-nine a pound. Eight ninety-nine a pound. Nine nineteen a pound. Lightly smoked salmon here. Ten ninety-nine. Tilapia fillets. 679 who would ever pay that that's ridiculous and some pacific cod 9.99 that's comparable to any store you go to even costco or even sam's breakfast sausage 219 here look at that try getting that at Publix. two dollars and 19 cents for this two dollars and 19 cents and 289 for here's some breakfast sausage patties that's not bad 369 for the Italian sausage. Publix, I've seen this up to 7.99 there. Yep. And the pork, it's hard to get away from it here. You can go to Sam's and get a better deal 3.79 here a pound. And some of this stuff is 4.69 a pound. Well, you get, you know, you get what you pay for. I I'd go to Sam's, but you know, you're not going to get away from high prices at supermarkets unless you do go to Sam's. Pork tenderloin twin pack, three seventy nine a pound. That's a good price. Ah, that that's still a good price for here. Sam's, you're gonna get it cheaper though, of course. And the hamburger, five sixty nine a pound. You can't get away from that. You're just not gonna get away from the beef. You can't get away from the price of beef. Sirloin tip steak right here. Well, that's chuck roast. How much is the chuck roast? Five seventy nine a pound. That's about the price of Sam's, so I don't think that's too bad for the chuck roast here. It actually looks pretty good. Black Angus, that's not bad. I'm impressed. Um, but Black Angus steak right here, $13.99 a pound for your ribeye. And this bad boy is, uh, it's upside down, I gotta read it here right, is $18.75. Holy cow, <laughs> this is $18.75, so I don't, I don't, like, see this is stuff you just don't buy. You just can't afford it. Oh, this is a big, this is a big one here. How, how much is this? This is twenty-five dollars for one steak. Twenty-five dollars for one steak. Holy cow! That's too much. S just beef is just way too much. Steaks. You can see the prices, and I consider this low. You know, imagine going to Publix. Holy cow! Let's check the chicken. They don't have any leg quarters, but they were a dollar nineteen. And the let's check out the boneless rib meat they were on sale 229 they're still 229 chicken breast fillets 16 bucks for the whole package chicken drumsticks a dollar 89 it's a small package but those chicken breast fillets are really good they don't have much here for chicken they're, this has been really busy chicken breasts here 349 kirkwood huh they're trying to copy costco kirkland fresh thin sliced chicken breast $3.99. That's not a bargain, but this is family pack chicken breast, $2.29 a pound for the fillets. And people buy these up. They must have just stocked these things. That's that's a good buy right there. Let's check their bacon. Bacon's high no matter where you go. You can't get away from it. $4.25 a pound, premium sliced. Doesn't look too bad, but $4.25, $4.399 for the the cheapest brand you can find. Jamestown brand and $7.49 for this. 
you can't get away from it. 749, 499 center cut, uh, 12 ounces, 499. You can't get away from the price. You just can't do it. Now, if you want to get some cheap hot dogs, <laughs> you can get you can get them too. A buck 29 for this. Parkview, or you can go to the Nathan's and pay 489 for that. You take your pick. 489. I don't want that for a dollar 29 either. And um, here's some uncured beef franks for 329 Parkview. But you're just not gonna you're not gonna get any bargains on that stuff on anything name brand. Not with Nathan's. No, there's no way. Unless you go to Sam's and buy in bulk though. And another thing I noticed when you buy the let's say Twizzlers like this, and I really like the Twizzlers, three dollars and forty-four cents, and it's a pound. You get sixteen ounces. It's three forty-four. So anytime you pay buy name brand stuff, you're gonna pay through the nose. Four twenty-eight for this. It's nine ounces for this. You're gonna pay through the nose. Four twenty-eight. Four twenty-eight. Holy cow! Anything like this, two seventy-nine for this little thing. Two seventy-nine. And Reese is a dollar eighty-nine for this. A dollar eighty-nine. You just pay through the nose. Here's some Cadbury, two sixty-five. But anyways, the M and M's and the Twizzlers, that's way overpriced. It's just like anywhere. You're paying for the brand name. That's why. They even have pizzas here. Six ninety-nine for Rising Crust Pizza. Four ninety-nine for one of these. Twenty-nine ounces. Four ninety-nine for the stuff, the Giorno type. $6.99 for one of those. And the pizza snacks here, your junk food, $6.29, 45 ounces. Bagel pizzas here, $6.39, $5.35 for these guys. Thin crust, cauliflower crust, $5.35. And here's a rising crust right here, $4.49. Holy cow. It's called Mama Cozy's. That's not bad. And it's 29.35 ounces. 449 that's a bargain right there and for mayonnaise you're gonna pay the price Duke's mayonnaise 464 Hellman's mayonnaise you can't really see the price it's 548 548 stay there guy oh my gosh <laughs> falling prices no there's no falling prices just falling products 319 for for the off-brand so real mayonnaise 319 or 548 for the Hellman's with the falling uh, products so there's your price, and here's the Miracle Whip. Oh, you're going to be whipped by the price. $5.48 for the bad boys. And then you go next door, and here's your Berman's Whipped, three nineteen. That's the same thing. You're paying for the name. I'm sure someone would say, this is much better, but it's much more expensive. So that's the difference right there. You're paying more. And where do you want? Who do you want to give these people your money? I don't. This is all they have for sugar here in bulk. And... For four pounds of sugar is three dollars and nine cents. We don't buy any of it, so I don't know. Here's flour, all-purpose flour, five-pound bag. Is it a five-pound bag? I think it is. Uh, it's a five-pound bag, two dollars and twenty-nine cents. And here's their vegetable oil, three three eighty-five, right here, three eighty-five, one point four two liters. Crisco. My mom used to use this stuff years ago. Remember that? <laughs> My mom always cooked with this stuff. I mean, <laughs> I didn't even think they made it anymore. It's seven sixty-eight on sale. And here's a big thing of vegetable oil. A gallon is eight. It's eight seventy-five. I don't think that's too bad. And here's some of your avocado oil. This is good stuff. Five hundred degree smoke point, five sixty-five. That's not bad. Grapeseed oil, four forty-nine. That's not bad either. Here's Sicil and olive oil, smooth and medium flavor, $8.99. I don't know about that. Here's some extra virgin olive oil. And, oh, it's in the glass. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> Got to be careful. $5.79. And here's some other stuff. 16.9 uh, ounces, 5 bucks. And here's a blend. Here's a blend, $4.49. And all your spices are really affordable here. $0.99. Cents. 99 cents, 99, 99, 99. Vanilla extract has always been expensive, but look at your your pepper grinder, a 219, a dollar 89 for the sea salt, and 64 cents for your iodized salt. This looks a little pricey, but remember the the metal tins? I didn't think they made them anymore. They're 299 though. Let's check some of their cookies too. Now look at this. Now here's 
like like the fake Chips Ahoy, but the uh, the Millville brand are called Benton's at buck ninety nine. Then you go the Chips Ahoy. I know it's a bigger package, but it's a bigger price. Five ninety eight, a dollar ninety nine. I just don't like paying a dollar ninety nine. And look, Oreos five ninety eight, party size. I just don't think it's a party size. Five ninety eight. No way. And here's some of these duplex creams. Two forty five. I know they're not as good as Oreos, but the price difference. And here's the vanilla wafers. If these are the vanilla, they would be double the price. Pecan Sandies, a dollar sixty two. Come on, that's a good price. This would be four dollars or more at Walmart. It's a buck sixty two here. Fudge stripes, this would be four or five dollars at Walmart for the, the Keebler, a buck ninety five here. And they even have mint stripes. Holy cow! Remember, look at this two twenty nine. Let's see what what's stuck to the bottom. <laughs> two twenty nine for the fudge things, and the marshmallow fudge two two twenty nine. Two twenty nine for these guys. They don't look too bad. Twelve ounces. That's called Benton's brand right there. Peanut butter fudge cookies a buck eighty nine. Here's some breakfast bars. Benton's eight eight point eight ounces three forty nine. Goldfish, Goldfish brand. There you go. There's there's your branded stuff. Eleven ounces, three eighty seven. I don't see any of the off brands, but uh, I don't know. That's three twenty nine. That seems pricey. So you got to shop around. Three fifty nine for their Cheez Its, baked Cheez Its. Oh, here's a look at the mini box. The mini box of Cheez Its, seven ounces. Look at that little box. Two forty five. Well, they did lower the price. But the box is pocket size. <laughs> That's what you're getting. You're, you're paying more and getting less, or you're you're paying a lot less and you're getting a lot less. Look at that's a tiny. But look at this box. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> the cheese it box. It's now. It's just a mini. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And here's the clubhouse crackers. But this is the off their brand. Uh, Sa Savor it's two two ninety five. And if you go to the other ones, savor it's in the can, five seventy five. But if you bought the real brand, that would be double at Walmart. And here's your wheat thins, two two thirty five. These things are four ninety seven every day at Publix, every single day, half price here. But you're not get, you're see you're paying for the name, you're paying for the wheat thin name. That's all you're doing. Saltine crackers, a buck fifty nine. This would be two ninety nine at Publix, absolutely. And what I need to buy is, oh, here's some raw honey. Let's look at this. Seven forty nine for this, and four four fifty nine. That seems a little pricey, but it says organic on it. Local honey six forty nine. I think you can do better at Sam's. Five nineteen for clover honey. You can absolutely do better at Sam's, but ninety five cents for one of these. Yellow mustard, and I bought some of this stuff here for my sandwiches. A dollar twenty five. Spicy mustard. I should try the stone ground. That looks really good. This Berman's, this is really good. Sweet Baby Ray's, $2.98. I, I've seen this all over for $2.98. And the ketchup is $1.85 for this big thing. $1.85 for the ketchup. That's not bad, but I came here for Thursday olives for $1.59. And they're usually pricey. I came here for right here. These bad boys, right there. Well, I love these on my sandwiches. Two twenty-nine. I'm gonna get me one of those. I've been going through them. <laughs> Maybe I should get two of them. I'm kind of greedy, you know. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get two of them. Well, I better put the flap up, otherwise these things could hit the ground. Let me, let me do that. There you go. Otherwise they'll they'll hit the ground, and I'll have to buy them. Three twenty-nine for vinegar, right there. And here's some bals balsamic vinegar, two forty nine, two forty nine for that. Croutons here, a dollar, a dollar twenty five. I know it's five ounces, but it's hard to beat the price. A buck twenty five. Well, that's here's what I got at uh, at Aldi. Uh, Ten pounds of russet potatoes, four forty nine. Two of the banana pepper rings at two twenty nine, and I bought the Twizzlers, three forty four. I consider that a rip off. The split top wheat bread was a dollar twenty five so I got out of here for fourteen dollars 
and six cents and the uh, Twizzlers added it up the potatoes but overall I think it's not too bad you know I mean oh geez I'm glad that thing didn't fall over but uh, like I said Aldi voted the the best grocer in 2023 and you know I believe it I mean where are you gonna find you know 10 pounds of potatoes last week these have gone up a dollar they were 349 and a split top uh, wheat bread like that where are you gonna find that for a dollar and a quarter this expensive well you're paying for the name brand and 229 these are better than mount olive better than any brand i've ever tried 229 for 16 ounces that's not bad at all well that's gonna wrap it up for my uh, mini shopping haul here at aldi the uh, the grocer of the uh of the year 2023 i i believe that they deserve it because you know i don't complain about them as much i mean if you buy name brand stuff here you're gonna pay a lot more so you just stick to the aldi brand the millville and you saw the difference between the two different cereals there's a big difference so do you want to put your money in their pocket or keep it in yours that's the big that's a big difference right there so i hope everybody enjoyed the show give me a thumbs up for like don't forget to hit the subscribe button until next time this is scott with the real economy we'll see you